Okay, I got a quick video here. This is an Xbox 360 Slim. It's one of the newer ones. It's got the flat black um, exterior on it. Um, I don't normally work on these, so please don't email me and ask me to fix your 360. I don't really work on them. Um, if I did, I would get nothing else done. There's so many of them out there that break all the time. But this is a console of a good friend's and it turns out it's going to be a, a pretty easy fix. So basically what it is, is you put a game in, it goes in, it doesn't do nothing, maybe it spits the game back out, maybe it just stalls. Um, a lot of people call it an open tray error, something like that. The issue on this one may not be as common as some of the other open tray errors, um, like the lens is dirty, mine was not, or I should say not mine, this one was not dirty, um, it was not stuck at the rear, the actual sled, laser sled was not stuck at the rear. Um, it was lubricated fine. Um, I did have one major hint, and I'll show you that here in a second. And I also spent about two hours on YouTube looking for videos of similar problems. I finally found one, and it, and it clicked. Um, what I had was a little piece of plastic inside the DVD drive, loose, and I didn't know what it was. I thought maybe it was just a, uh, a mounting clip or something. Turns out it was a piece of the limit switch. And the limit switch actually tells the console that the tray is in or out all the way. And that's what was not happening. And I'll show you what it's actually doing before I actually do any fixes here. This is the little piece of plastic that I found inside of the DVD ROM. Very, very small. Wouldn't know what it was otherwise. Okay, what I'm not going to tell you is how to take apart your 360. There are plenty of videos already on on YouTube on how to do that. It's really not that hard. It just takes a little time and patience and the right tools, of course. Okay, so here it is. I am kind of in test mode. If I turn it on. All seems to be working correctly. There you go. It's not attempting to spin. It's not the laser's not coming on. It's not doing anything. I just put some CD in there. It's a Sega CD Sewer Shark. You'll see it do the same thing. It doesn't spin. Laser doesn't come on. It just spits it right back out. Sometimes it won't even spit it back out. Now, on the screen, you'll see it says opening, and it's open right now. I close it, closing, and then opening. Okay, the problem is, let me unplug it here. Like I said, I've got this all apart already. Right up the front this switch is loose and it should not be that little piece of plastic holds it in place and what we could end up doing is simply gluing it down or maybe trying to glue the plastic piece back on there you see there's just a little lever that goes back and forth to say that the tray in is in or out so we'll glue that down or put the plastic piece back on and give it another shot what I'm going to attempt to do is put some hot glue on this side of the switch since there's less chance of getting it on the actual lever and causing it to bind. And I can get it between the switch and that wall that it sits against up in there. Right back in there. better view of it. Better light. And hopefully that will hold it in place real nice. Okay, that was fairly easy. I mean, it looks so good that you can't even see any glue sticking up through the crack, but I'm going to go ahead and add a lot more glue to the top area also, just to help hold it in place. There you go. All the extra glue. Okay, so now i got a game in. 
turn on. It's already loading. It's more life than I've seen out of it so far. Laser sleds moving back and forth. And I get the option to play the game. say that's proof that it's actually working so let's try to eject it here a few times beautiful I'd say we have a winner I'm gonna put it all back together and do some more testing and for anybody interested, the model number is DG-16D5S and then a dash 11B at the end, but I don't know if that means anything. Alright, time for the big test. So this reading, playing game. It's playing the game. So now I'm gonna make it eject and insert maybe a hundred times or something and just make sure that it uh, continues to work. Yeah, I'm not doing that a hundred times. I think ten was plenty. I'll uh, let it sit for a while and try it a couple more times, but uh, I think it's ready to go back to the customer. There you have it. Easy fix for an Xbox 360 Slim.